Okay, guys, so we're gonna be getting into, um, Blendy Salon. This is, uh, going to be done for a sub of mine who requested. That would be Robert has a Macintosh. He asked for this a couple, like a month or two ago. Um, so here you go, dude. Hope you enjoy. Uh, this mod was made by Justy Zan. Let's get into the read this real quick. Welcome player. Thank you for downloading my mod, Wendy Soldaten. The name is based off an old German marching song written before World War One, I, I think. This is a vanilla based mod, so it retains the look and feel of the original with the aesthetic. It also has some new graphics and music. Features. There's the features. Okay, good stuff. Let's see. We've got episode one and episode two. Uh, I might get into episode two. Maybe. Somewhere down the road. Okay. So yeah, we're in this episode we're doing uh, Craption and Prizard. In prison for the umpteenth time, he must escape and eliminate the annoying captain. Often Stiglich, whatever the hell that is. Uh, and episode two will be in Bulgaria. Here's the good people that helped him out. There's the lyrics that I can't read. Uh, yep, he's from Southeast Asia. He's from the Philippines. Um, floor 10 uh, resembles that. Yep, and there's his email in case you need it. All right, floor one. How's a guy? There he is. The great escape. I always think that guy's gonna be like right friggin' there. Okay, um, what do we want to do? Well, we got these little places here. Not that much in them. So it is really resembling floor one. <laughs> Pretty much. And then these guys, which are absolute pains in the neck. Where are you, dude? They have, like, little billy clubs or something that just knock the hell out of you. Before we go that way, excuse you. Piece of shit. Alright. Let's go in here. Where are you? I like the pistol in this. I like the one-hit kills, too. Hi. Okay, secret here to boot. Treasure and a trusty med kit. So this area is done. And the next order of business is going to be down here. Usually it's like right there in front of the door. Okay, I'm thinking of another room. All right, this is our exit door. Um, our secret exit door, actually, so we're gonna need the silver key for that. <laughs> Just makes me think of Spear Res, too. Oh god, more idiot. Such an idiot. Okay, uh... Well, we have the gold key, so we want to go left. I believe. Yes, yes, we want to go left. Oh, let's pick up some good ammo. Ammo is always good. We have these little things. I don't know what they are exactly. And is that the seat? No, I'm thinking of the other way. Guy. Okay. So what do we want to do? Well, um, going up this way, at least nothing but a dead end. And I always like clearing out dead end rooms anyway. Come on. And there's you. But he drops the MP40, so that's a good thing. Let's wait for these guys to show. Uh, I guess we could storm in there. Oh, 
You didn't come out here, did you? I'd be really mad if you did. Okay. Um. Yeah. What's this? That's the only thing about DOS that I absolutely hate, is the fact that if you get close to a door, and just before you open it, an enemy can come right through that door. Like, the door doesn't even have to open all the way. And it's just like, haha. Got another secret here. Okay, secret here. Come on. Secret here. Let's go down here first. We're gonna get our gold key. I'm gonna hit this wall. Now free to moan about the country. We got one ups, we got crowns. Life is good for beach. Alright, um, getting the hell out of here. Oh, I lost my train of thought. Yes. Yes? Yes. <laughs> we were in here, right? Yeah, there's a little silky iron cross thing. Okay, in here should be a guard. Where is he? Where's his little asshole? There he is. Get out of here. Let's go up here. Med kits galore in case you need them, but we don't. That's a good thing. So we're gonna get rid of you. Holy shit. A lot of guys. Haha. <laughs> Mowing them down. Alright, um... I thought there was a door over here. Okay, there's no door. I don't know why I'm thinking that. But, okay. Let's get rid of you. Um... What am I thinking? What am I thinking? We're going this way. Yeah, where he's looking, there's a push wall. Let's get rid of you. Cool. Ay -ay -ay -ay. Things in my desk are moving. Get out of here. Sit still. thought it'd be one of those. I always think it's gonna be one of those areas if you like, usually it's a bathroom setting, like, you know when you let off a shot and they're like, oh, rah, 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 get all mad because you interrupted their bathroom time. There's gonna be a shoes to fall around here. Cool man, cool. Okay, so that's the regular exit, and of course we don't need the regular exit. We don't need it, man. We don't need it. What we need to do is go back to the beginning. Oops, wrong way. Remember those locked doors? And it's this room. There's nothing else in these other, uh, in these other rooms. If I'm thinking clear, yeah, there's nothing. So, so we hit this wall. And we're gonna do that. And we're gonna do this. We're gonna come through here. We got another push wall. And we're gonna snake our way through this little maze. Little hallway, actually. It's not really a maze this wall. 116.50 is our score. That's what we want. And off to the secret exit we go, dudes. Alrighty, welcome back to no more WDS. And we are in floor 10. And this is interesting. Um, wow, that is really loud. One second. Hold on. I'm gonna drop that some. Anyway, 
So we get a touch of what the Philippines uh, kind of looks like here. We have a map of it. Um, our uh, author is from that country and yeah, that's pretty neat. I like that it's like a little Asian feel right here, like the little vent up there and stuff. Anyway, so this is our um, silver door. That's our exit door. We can go up here, but there's nothing much to do except we need the gold uh, gold key for that. Um, so we're gonna go this way. And I'm not sure if this is the national anthem plane of the Philippines. It might be. I hope I don't get copyrighted on it or anything. God, because you know how YouTube is. You even play a melody of something and they'll just like cut you up. All right, we're gonna have two of these uh, officers coming. One here and one here. Man, these guys are rough. Oof. Just a guard and another officer here. And I really like these windows, minus the SWAT seconds, but those are really cool looking. Let's get rid of you. Same thing over here. We can't go any further, uh, needing the gold key for that. I'm sorry, the silver key, and this is the gold door. So we're gonna go in here and clear out this tiny room. This guy, he'll punch you to death, and this guy is just, well, he's an officer. <laughs> it's funny when you, uh, when you get hit by him, it's like, whap, whap. I think he's like hitting you with a billy club or something. Anyway, going down in here, um, nothing behind us, just a door. The gold door to be exact. And we're gonna grab this here. We got this guy, and we got a guy here. Uh, interesting take. You can't take this food. I wonder what this is, too. I wonder... I'm gonna assume this is a dish of, um... A, a dish of the Philippines, um, I'm going to assume. And, yeah, I forgot about that guy, but I don't forget about this guy. That guy... Well, he's just an officer. Anyway. So, we come in here. And, um, yeah, we're gonna go uh, up this way. There's a little bit of ammo and health in there for you. We might need that. Uh, and then we come to this health kit here. Um, hold on, hold on, let me think here. This room is deadly, and there's a reason why this room is deadly, and the reason is because of this corner here, all these little nooks and crannies that you see. These guards, as soon as you open this door, our boss sits in this room. If you fire at him, he will get alerted. Uh, the best thing to do, you know, either door, or you could come down here if you're, well, you can't, you need the, the key, I forgot about that. But anyway, soon as you let off a shot, they're going to get alerted from both sides. Now the problem is, is that um, there's really no way to handle it besides how I'm doing it. I do not recommend standing in this room to, uh, get them. I mean, the thing is, too, you don't have a chain gun. Maybe if I had the chain gun, and it's not bad that I don't, but maybe if I did, I could easily mow them down. But it's just not, uh, it's not possible without getting mobbed by both rooms. Um, it is, though, it is possible to alert that boss. Uh, if, if you shoot in his direction, you're gonna get Gretel, you're gonna get her to, uh, you're gonna hear her, because that's her alert. Oh, that's his alert, I should say. Get him from the distance, and I took that. Yeah, this sounds like, this sounds like a national anthem play. I really hope I don't get copyright struck. But, I mean, it was very loud to begin with, so that's why I lowered it, so maybe I won't get copyright struck, whatever, plain, whatever the hell it is. Anyway, so there he is. <laughs> so with our MP40, he's relatively easy. And we're just gonna fire in his direction. Keep your distance, of course. And try not to get stuck on any corners. Do this back and forth motion. Okay, let's swing over here, grab that, swing over here, grab that. Come on, buddy. There we go. Okay. There's that. And then we come to this room and grab our stuff. One of two secrets. And we you know what's neat? There's a flag of Bulgaria right here. 
um, this gives you a little taste of what episode two is all about. So that's kind of cool. Nice little uh, sneaky sneak right there. So with the gold key, we can now have access to these doors. Just a bunch of health and treasure. Okay. And now we are completely done with this area. You can say goodbye to it. And out this way. Yeah. And now let's uh, fill up on ammunition. It would be good to do because we have another round of, uh, um, they're, they replaced the goal, uh, ghost Hitlers. And we're coming up to them in a short while here. A short bit, I should say. Okay. More health. That does look good. I don't know what that is. It's a fruity drink with an umbrella in it or a flower. <laughs> okay. So, in this room. Oh, in this room. Oh, crap. That's right. We need to go up here to the north. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, we're going up here. To get the silver key. Now, this room isn't too bad. It, it's almost that nook and cranny stuff you got to look out for. <clears throat> they are going to get stuck somewhat but what i what you could do without getting stuck on a, on a guy which it is possible once they are alerted that you can't get stuck but once you feel like you can make them move through it then you can head over here and kind of free them up a bit but the problem is too you know it you can't get shot up pretty good but what are you gonna do it'll all be fine all right moving this way this freaking guy. With ice skates on. And there's our silver key, but we gotta deal with a couple of goons first. Come on, guy, come here. And there's our second. Wait, what? Wait. Did that just say the silver key is required for this door? I swear to god, that's what that said. <laughs> well, that's what that said. Maybe I read... No, yeah, because I pushed that wall and it said silver key is required. What the hell? Whatever, man. It's DOS. DOS gonna be DOS. Alright, let's click all the good stuff here. Um, Such a cheerful song. bounce in my head too and everything. <laughs> if you are not going for 100% you can sure as hell exit if you'd like to which is right here and we're not going to do that just yet. I do want to go back down uh, where we were and um, yeah head up here. Yeah we got two of these bozos. Oh my god this freaking guy. Okay. Whoa. Okay, so just a little plate of food, a little plate of food there. So they they don't do anything until like you get near them, I think. Yeah. I don't know what the hell these things are. They look like rabbits or some shit. I don't know. It's Justy. Okay, enough of that. And you. Now keep in mind too, we have plenty of those, um, uh, what are they called? Relief packs, I think Justin calls them. So I'm just gonna... Uh, yeah, 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 right here. So I'm just gonna go, and I'm just gonna go and grab whatever ammunition I can. I'm gonna fill up on that. I think the only problem is I can't grab another relief pack because my health is already at 100%. So I need to go scrounge for some ammunition. Damn it. And I don't think there's any back here. I think I took every thing. Shit. Well, oh, there's a bit here. Uh, I could like I'd like to go past 50. That would be most ideal. Anything lying around in here? Yeah, see, I can't grab that unless something hurts me. Oh, there's the radio. Damn! Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Let me try, um, I do really want to get some ammunition. I don't want to short myself. That would not be good at all. Um, 
Oh, really? I could have just went through here. I get those doors mixed up a lot. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, there's some in the corner. There's some around here, I believe. Yeah. Okay, cool. 82. Oh, that's perfect. All right, let's go. Let's get the last bozo here. Come on, dude. There we go. It's a damn shame I can't take that, but I get it, you know, and it deals with health. But I'm certainly not going to get shot up just to get ammunition either. That would be a no-no. Okay, the last little bit. No, buddy. Where are the brown? There's the brown. There should be another brown. There he is. Okay, we got some of these guys. I really love walking, uh, the, going through the banners like that. That is just really, really cool. 209650 is what we need. Alright guys, floor 10. All done. Okie dokie guys, floor 2. <laughs> I like how I saved. I accidentally hit, uh, hit something. Anyway, so we're going to... Oh boy, um... I met with some guys here. Something may odd happen when I'm sitting in here. This, one of these guards in here, he actually disappeared in the doorway. I could not get rid of him. Couldn't get rid of him, so I'm going to make a run for it. There's a couple of ways you can handle this. Um, get out of the way. A couple of ways you can handle this room. I mean, it's not that difficult of a room to be handling. But, um... Yeah. Anyway. You could easily... Uh, where the hell's it start? You could easily just stay in there and stay in there and watch that. You know, just watch for all the guys to come. The problem is, and I don't know, but during my practice run, one of the um, guards right here in black disappeared right in the doorway. But what I like to do, because usually one of the black guards, as soon as you uh, open that door, he's going to be cut right here. What I usually do is knock him down, and then I'll just fly over here, and then I can just knock all the rest of them down. However, if you decide to go talk, you know, run out of there, be prepared for this. Yeah, this was my point, is that some of them do hang out uh, in these little block areas. Um, so, just something to be aware of. The good news is, is that we have supplies. Freaking guy. Okay, now that's all taken care of. So, we're going to be moving our way into this area, which is a dead end. Another one? I know you're there. Yeah. I kind of like, um, I like the strategy of taking care of dead end areas first. Something else I noticed too, you can't take food when you're sitting at 99%. I don't know if that was made to be that way, but, uh, yeah, there you have that. Um, come in here, we got you and that guy. Swing around this way. Get rid of you. And him. Yep. Okay, cool. Alright, which way am I going to go first? Well, we can't go this way because we need the silver key. The way we can only go uh, either of these ways. But I'm going to go this way first because we have some secrets to tackle. And because we'll be getting the silver... Uh, no, I lied. We're not going to be getting the silver key. Not yet. Okay. And we got a 1-up. Which I'm going to take now because I don't plan on coming back here. Um... Yes. Come on. And there we go. Have a push roll for you. 11 secrets total. Treasure. I wonder what these are supposed to be. 
like a bangle or something. Is that right? Something like that. Okay. I'm done with that. Let's go over into this area. And we have two ways of going. Um, I'm going to save this way for last. And this way I'm going to go. Get rid of you. I want these guards to come over. Should be another brown. And a brown right there. Yeah, some of this food I can't pick up. Not that I'm in dire need of it, but not a big deal. Oh, yeah, we sniped that guard. Yeah, there. The gold key. Nah, that's the silver key, my dude. Um. Uh, yeah, that's not a secret. Okay. Okay, onward and upward. Then get rid of you. And get rid of you. And. Get out of here. Okay, let's grab his ammo and continue our way up in this little bedroom area. We're gonna hit that, let it open, we're gonna go up this way into a bathroom. We got an SS in here, we got a jabroni in here, and this moron right here. We're gonna open this door. This guy can actually glitch through the door, which sucks. Not that it's a bad thing. I mean, well, it could be a bad thing, depending. But anyway, we come back down here and we grab that crown. Because as we say, BJ is a king. The hell am I doing? Oh, sometimes I just get lost in thought. Alright, anyway. Making our way back, and now we're going to go north. And now we can proceed through uh, either of these doors. I'm going to go this way first because it leads to a dead end. Lots of treasure. We'll make ourselves present, steal some jewels, and get rid of the jabronis that are in here. Okay, and we are free to collect. There we go. Yeah. Nothing else in there. So we're gonna swing over in this way. Get rid of him. That is not the exit, of course. Come up and get this there. Ah, damn it. So if you're looking through here, we got some, uh, we got some stuff. We got a little bit of treasure. You can see bits and pieces of it. So we hit this wall here, and that's a really cool um, object. I like it. Yeah, I got some cool stuff. Um, let's go this way. I actually didn't want to go this way, but that's all right. We'll clear them out. Let's turn back. Get rid of you. And you. Hit this wall, and that's it. More treasures. Treasure, treasure, treasure. Alright, we're pretty much set, except. Actually, we're not set. Not yet, anyway. There's a one up that sits in here. If you hit this wall, uh, you screw yourself out of getting it. We're gonna hit this wall, this wall, and then from either side you can hit that and we get our one up. I'm missing stuff. Now what am I gonna go? Oh my god. Nah. <sighs> Alright, well let me pause and see what I can find. So I ran around and I realized I never hit this wall. <clears throat> and all this treasure. I knew that it was something. Of course. Of course. 317.050 is what we need. It's always something. Always something. Alright guys, 4-2. All done. Alright guys, floor three, and you can see I have two saves there, because there's something I want to mention. I'm not here to chop up this mod, let me make that clear. But, in this floor, um, I have practiced it quite a few times, and there are particular instances where I have finished this floor, and I have come up with two different scores, yet I still get 100%. 
So my first attempt I ended with <clears throat> 383,750. That was 100%. Nice, on. Granted, the treasure total was 120%. Hey, God damn it, come here. Hey. Uh, this was the second or third attempt I got a score of 382,900 and the treasure ratio was 10, uh, 106, 106%. But still, I don't care about the treasure ratio. Well, I guess the treasure ratio does have something to do with it, obviously. But why would this... I mean, how? You know what I mean? Like, I'm not understanding how that's happening. I don't know. Anyway, so we have a twist on E1-M1 here. Okay, and to our right we have the silver door. Silver door to the left, too. So we gotta go straight. Get him. You hit that door. Let's pick this up. And yeah. Jump in here. Knock him down. And then get him. So yeah. Let's get rid of you and you. And get that guard. Ah. So used to the guy being in the center. Where's the other one? Alright. Come on. Whoops. Got all that. That. Okay. Let's go up here. Let's give yourself some room. These guys can hurt. Behind the key we have a push wall. One of those thingies, and we got some chests with jewels and all that good stuff. BJ never has to work again in his life after collecting all this treasure. Alright, and then moving down in here, we got this guy. Got a guard here and a guard in this direction. Um nope, this way. Wait. Yes, it is this way. That room caught me off guard the first time I tried it, and I was like, whoa. Hey. Alright, going through here, and then we're back out this way. Jump across, get him, and these three. Come on. Grab that thing, push this wall. A little bit of goodies inside, a little bit of a grab bag. <laughs> grab and go. Okay, let's get you, you, and you. Don't touch me. Just don't touch BJ. And come up into this room. We got him. This guy here. We're gonna come up into this area. We're gonna knock him down. And knock him down. <laughs> and this guy. We come over here and push this wall. We'll be going to that little brown area in just a second. Let's collect these things. And we're good to go. Okay, we'll come in here. Ah, you little jerk. Of course. This room kind of represents the way you're bending here in all these doors. Looks like a little bit of a swat sticker. Okay. That key, we can go back through here and here. You could go this way, but I like going this way better. Let's get rid of you. You and you. And you. Well, I'm 100 points short, and now I'm not. So how does that work? I mean, I have pictures. I guess, I don't know if I should post. I mean, I'm not lying here. Yeah, 383,750 and 382,900. I don't know, man. Yeah, 
I don't, I don't know. I don't know how that... I mean, floor two didn't make a difference, because floor two was just floor two. It was this floor. I don't know. I don't know. It, it's, I don't, I don't know. All right, anyway, floor three is all done. We'll see you in the next. Alrighty, guys, floor four. Let's get into it. Um, a couple of things about, well, actually just one thing about this floor. About this mod, um, I'm not exactly sold on the whole scoring system here. Uh, here's why. The first time that, god damn it, the first time that I played, the, that I practiced this floor, on the map, this is marked as a med kit. Now, as you can see, my score went to, that ends in 250 now. It's just that, and I'm not trying to make, like, you know, a huge deal about this, because I think I did touch on it in my previous vid or something, or maybe in the secret exit. I can't remember which. It's been a little bit here. But this score thing just fluctuates immensely. I, <laughs> like, at the end of this vid, I'm going to say, well, I don't know if, um, I don't know if, if this is going to be the right score. Maybe it is, because I write my scores down for quick reference. And I don't know, I just, uh, when you get that little bandolier or whatever the hell it is, when you get that little th iron cross, well, that changes things. Because my first, because when I first practiced this, I didn't even grab that iron cross and I still got 100%. And my score was, com was, was you know, it was 100% score, so. But then I realized when I walked in that room on accident my second practice through, I was like, oh, it's one of these. And, th and then I saw my score change and I was like, well, and then this treasure ratio ended it with 102%. But I practiced it again and did the same thing, got the iron cross again, did the whole floor 100%. And I got a completely different score, yet the ratio wasn't over 200. It was, I'm sorry, it wasn't 102%. Rather, it was um, 100%. So, I don't know. I, I don't know. So, it's not like I can check my ratios in this. I mean, to see if I got everything at the end. So, I don't know. Just saying, I guess. Anyway. We've got a secret here. Filled with treasure and ammunition. Got a few guys here. Keep in mind, we do have little treasures in the corners of these rooms, so it would be best to keep an eye out on things like that. This room, I do like taking it from this door, because I can easily just knock them down, and if you came through this door here, you're going to get uh, surrounded <clears throat> on either side, and it's just not, it's not pleasant, so... Not the best strat you can do. And we find our silver key after we snipe him. And uh, yeah, I just want to check these uh, corners and little nooks and stuff because it's very easy, especially when you have a table. You have this health here with this mug. It kind of blends in with a, uh, a sprite or a treasure, whichever. Sometimes it does. But um... Ah uh, yeah, this freaking room. Dude, I hate those guys. Okay. Toilet secret. And yet another secret. We come to this nice secret right here. We're good to go. Did I say in another secret? I meant to say another push wall. <laughs> anyway, that's the end of the toilet secret. So I want to make sure again that I've just grabbed everything. Okay. Um. 
that was where we got our silver key. Okay, so let's go. Come to this room. We got <clears throat> guy here where he's looking, where he was looking. We can open this up and it should be the MK3. Is that what that's what it should say? Let's get rid of you. And with the silver key, this is our well, this circle door. And down here is our silver door. down that way. I'm going to work my way from top to bottom here, so. Secret here. Some treasures, some relief packs. Okay, we're pretty much good to go now. <sighs> okay, and here we go. And a treasure. That's the, I mean... It's really the only most important thing in there. Uh, we're not ready to go that way yet. Same thing, I want to start up here. Ah, let's hear the tune again. Like, look at him. He's, he's just flat. It's like nothing to his body. It's like all like, it's like a pile of oatmeal. These banners are pretty cool. Now this room. And it can be kind of a problem. Whoa, buddy. I was just gonna say, it's, you know, this little room in here. Because some of these enemies go off into that room. But inter interestingly enough, <clears throat> when I was in here a couple of my times practicing this, I would even come down here and get this guy, and they still wouldn't come out that door, so I'm not complaining or anything. I'm just simply tossing that out there. Okay, so with both keys, well, really the gold key. We can go down this way. And we're gonna knock this guy down. And now this is really, really cool. What I like about this little room right here, we have this banner. You have that. And you have him that comes out of there. Now, he can easily take you down. The thing is, too, is like once you fire, you can pretty much knock him down. But it's so cool how he comes through here. I just really like that. You. Let's go in here. Ah, uh, yeah, that's just health. Nothing in there, really. Um, go in here. Ah. Thought he went the other way. This pillar can really be a problem because. Sometimes I'm so used to going, I'm strafing right to left, and I'm knocking these guys down, and this pillar has freaked me up a lot, so. Let's try to get these guys' attention again. I like the banners there, pretty cool. Shoutouts to Wub. Yeah, 
Yeah, 476, 815. Now that, that's the actual, that's one of the high scores. You might get 476, 350, and that's still a, a decent score. It's still 100% is what I'm, is what I'm saying. I just want to go in here. I want to fill up. Actually, I want to uh, get out of here real quick. I don't want to fill up my stuff. Oh, I was already in here. Nice. Let's see if I can find anything else. Um. That's another thing. I wish I could just take that last bit, but I can't for some reason. I just can't. Sometimes I can, and other times I can't, so I really don't know what the deal is there. Okay. 4-4. Four, four, all done. Alright guys, welcome back. We are in floor 5. And immediately greeted by two guys here. Now we could go north, we could go south. Um, I think we're gonna go this way. Maybe not. Yes. <laughs> And we're going to knock this guy down. So we're going to need the gold key for that, and we need to go this way in order to get it. And, um... Oh, let me think. Yeah, it doesn't matter which way you go. Because this whole thing wraps around it anyway, so... You're getting what you're... What you're needing to get, which again is the key. Come in here and get you. Where's the other guy? There he is. Alright, so. Um, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can't forget about these guys. If I failed to mention some previous vids, I think, um, health, you can't pick up other health things at specific numbers. So that has been confirmed. So when you reach a certain percent in 90 something, I think it's below 95%, yeah, you can't, uh, can't pick up any more health. Did I say that right? I don't even know. <laughs> ah, Alright, gold door, and you need to die, and so do you. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, see, we can't do those. So it's 95 and over. Okay, so it's a nice little supply room. We'll probably be coming back to pick up on some um, supplies. Get rid of you, you, and you. Come up this way. I don't like those enemies. I mean, they're cool, but they're just, they replace the dogs, and it's like, not that that really means anything, but it's just, they suck. With the little billy clubs they have, blackjacks. And this guy, and then that guy, he can really, um, I don't know, he, he's a little, little bit of a sniper here with this plant in the way. He can really knock you on your ass if, you, uh, you're, not, if you're not looking for him. So we're going to go this way first, and then we're going to just go in there. Oh, my bad. You to take care of my snake around here. Get rid of you and you. Pick up the little doodad. <sighs> and this room. Could easily take um, our big gun and use it there. Eh, let's use it a little bit. I'll be using it at the end anyway, but. Very nice. We'll be over on that side shortly. Okay. We'll go through here. 
Oh, I forgot there's no ammo in there. So I am a little low on ammunition. And I'd like to fill that up. Topped off, and we're gonna head out this way. Head back up north. Um, yeah, just to show you, here's the other side that Medkit is. We're gonna go this way, and here we are met by the silver door. Got a guy here, and shoots to fall. Whoops. You and you. Grab that. Oh, can't grab that. Oh my god. Peace. Oh, shit. Push well there and hello. Push well here. <laughs> we'll take it. More of these little bonus thingies. Bonus doodads. Oh, wrong way, Wally. Come in here. And here is the other, other side, if that makes sense. <laughs> okay, and if we come down this way. Whoops. Open that up. more guys to deal with. Where he's looking, push the wall. Damn. Alright, well, no problem. Open this door up. And, yeah. I do want to go back. That's the score we need. But I would like to go back and just fill up whatever I can. That way I'm somewhat set for the next area. Okay. Good little map. Oh, wrong way. Okay, floor five all done. I like the 200% in the sound that plays. Alrighty, guys, floor six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Get rid of these guys real quick. And we're gonna come out here, we're gonna get rid of them. Hurry up. Hurry up. Get rid of you. And you. Don't forget to walk in and grab the little things. Iron cross on a ribbon, I guess. Pick up the ammunition. On the other side there is health. Okay, there's that. Uh, yeah, on the other side there is health. And uh, we really don't need that, but it's always good to know where it is, just in case you need it. Alright, we're going to come down here. Let me get this guy. And we're going to get that guy. Some treasure. I'm sorry. Good God. Some ammo and health. I don't know why I said treasure. I don't know. But anyway, coming down in here. The other door comes around the other way. We're gonna knock him down, get rid of you, and get rid of you. And the deed is done for here, and we're gonna come down here and get him. Um, I'm thinking, yes, there's a guy coming right now. Well, he got stuck on the wall. He doesn't matter. Knock him down. <coughs> Excuse me. The door down here is the gold. 
door. We'll be getting that key shortly, but first what we're going to do is go this way because we need to get um, the silver key. Now yeah, let's do some bowling. Our silver door. I'm gonna come up here, get rid of you, hit that. Good stuff, good stuff. And instead of going that way, which does proceed to the silver key, um, I like going this way because it's a dead end. I like clearing dead end areas out first. Um, yeah. Treasure. Good to go. Let's go. Get out of the way. Um, yeah. Let's pick up those little ammo bits. Okay, onward we go. Let's get rid of you. Get out of here, Brown. And let's come in here and get this guy. Oh my goodness. Jesus. Okay, so just little treasures and such. Oh wait, I need that. But that I'm not, well, can't get it anyway, but I'm leaving it there just in case. And we got a little iron cross. You. Coming this way. Hey, you got sniped. I don't want to run out there too fast. Um, that is a really crappy habit I have, is running into a room that I have no idea what's waiting for me. Sometime today. Silver King. Good to know. Okay, um, let's take it, because I'm not coming back. Whoops. Um, yes, down here. Met by this guy. And don't forget about this guy here. I did on my first try. Let's get rid of you. Ah, this friggin' guy. Get some ammo. Got another backpack just in case. Now this room, this room's a little nasty, just because of these guys. I'm gonna move over here. A brown should be somewhere. Where is he? Oh, he's in with the SS. This room can screw you up. Um, you got these SS in here, there's the brown, there's this guy. The reason why this room can get you... And I, I have perished in this room once. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with the DOS, uh, when you open up, let's say we open up this door. So we're getting rid of this guy. We open up this door. We get rid of these guys. What happens is these enemies in here, they get alerted, right? So when they open up this door and you're in the middle of fighting these guys, what happens is that sound gets canceled out because DOS can only handle just like it can only handle so many sprites, it can only handle so many sounds. So, while you're here fighting them, you're deaf. It's deaf to you what's going on here. When you turn this corner, you're in for a real... You could be in for a really bad time, so... Did I... I yes, I did. So it's just food for thought. It's actually really cool, too, and I, it makes me love DOS just as much... As I love all the other ports. But, you know, DOS is where I started, of course. Alright, getting rid of you. Oh, there's other guys here waiting. For a turn, there we go. Behind this vine, we have a push wall. We have two shoestifles here. Get rid of you. And get rid of you. Let's go back up into this area. Nice. Okay. 
That looked like uh, treasure for a second, but it's just a plate of food. In here, just a couple more supplies. And there's this guy. And we come in here. Strange. Um, these guys can get alerted. Um, which has never happened. It happened last time I played. I was like, what? Is that what happens? Okay, we got a mini boss. There we go. Behind him is a BJ Globe 58350. And if you're the one if you're one who goes by score, you can end this level with 58250 and you still get hundred percent. Which uh, kind of doesn't make sense because I did miss um, a treasure in the very beginning. And yet I still came out with 100%. But whatever. Anyway, thought I'd point it out. Uh, floor six, all done. Okay, guys, we're in floor seven. This, this map is pretty, pretty good. I like this map. I think this was heavily based on Orca. And it seems pretty good. Um, yeah, let's go this way. We're gonna clear out these guys here. I just want to poke in, let off a shot, let them know that I'm here. Get rid of them first. Uh, they could be a real pain. Once you do that, come over here and get this guy. And get him. And swing over and get that guy. Uh, we do need the silver key for this. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna, and we need the gold key for, no, I'm sorry, we need gold key for that. That's a silver door. It's always a door that you're gonna get mixed up. Get out of here. Oh my god, these enemies, some of these enemies are just terrible. They're just absolutely annoyingly terrible. Alright, cool. And I got the treasure. Okay. Cool, man, cool. Alright, so to get keys, we're gonna have to go back down in this area. Well, the gold key at least. And I'm gonna go left first, because it leads to a dead end. And the two locked doors that are in here are the silver doors. Okay, and let's get rid of you. Let's turn around. And we got this guy here. Alright, um, let's collect all the treasure. Treasure, treasure, lots of treasure. No, not here. Here, think of the other room across the hall that we're going to be getting soon. All right, there we go. Alright, and I'm doing it again. Alright, one up. I'm going to take it because I'm not going to come... You can, once you get the silver key, this is like a shortcut you uh, can go through, I suppose. But you're going to have to go all the way back up to get to the gold door. But you're going to really have to go back through these doors, <clears throat> not go through them anyway. Because there is a silver door that you're going to have to get. Um... And we'll talk about that later. Anyway, this is all cleared out. Let's jump across here. Get rid of you. And you. Ugh, the friggin' guy. Aren't there browns? Shouldn't there be browns? No? Am I thinking of the other room? Let's get rid of you. Get that. Let's hit that. Get rid of the SS. For God's sakes. It takes forever to get rid of. Got these. Those, ah yes, and these over here, okay. And here we got these little ribbon things, and we got some health, that's pretty much it for there. Um, that way is gonna lead us to the gold uh, key. Down here is just the other part of the intersection, the X intersection I call it, because I don't know what else to call it, I don't know, man. All right, let's get some ammunition. And I got the treasure, right? Okay, don't wanna miss the treasure. If there were treasure, there was there? Yeah, there was, okay. All right, gold key time. Let's take out the big gun. Waste no time, let's get rid of these guys quick. Let's switch back over to the MP40. Cause these guys are a pain. All right, push wall here. Let's open that up. And we got backpacks, which we may or may not be using. Um, yeah, okay. Got some treasure, more treasure, pillars. Alright, I am going to take out the big gun here. Get rid of 
him, and I'm gonna fly back over in this direction because of that idiot. I'm gonna get murked. I do want to run back and just play it safe and get a uh, backpack. Well, I'll take both of them actually. And I'll take that food. Thank you very much. Hi, hi, hi. Alright, let's go back over in here. Let's swing in here. Oh shit! Ha! Ha ha! Making it interesting, I suppose. I thought he was around the corner. Eh, he was right there. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. We have treasure. Over in this way and grab that. Grab you. Get rid of you. There's our gold key. Over that guy. Okay. So, what do we do next? Well, we gotta go backtrack a little bit. Is there health over here? I'll take that. And we'll take what we can just to fill up. Let's get back in here, see what we can grab. Because we're gonna be dropping, we're gonna be dipping kind of low with ammo and health. Well, mostly ammo. Not really with health. No, oh, no, wrong way, Wally. So with the gold uh, key, we can go right back up into this hallway. And we're gonna go this way. And we're gonna snipe him, and we're gonna turn this way and get rid of this guy. I'm gonna come in here and get rid of that annoying enemy. We've got an officer in here. Annoying still. Never fails to be annoying with that guy. And this guy too. He's a piece. Silver door. So this is the silver door I was talking about. So we're gonna we're gonna end up with those two locked silver doors um, soon. But I mean, if you're going for 100, percent you're gonna have to come back up here and get it. Just the way the cookie crumbles. Let's get rid of you. Lots of browns in here. Should be one more. Yeah, right here. For now, there's a couple others we gotta attack. And get the SS. I'm gonna be getting the silver key in just a second. For now, we got all this pretty stuff to get. We'll take a med kit. We'll leave that one up. I'll be getting it shortly. Get rid of you quickly or not. Both of you. Get out of here. Officer, where he is, there is a secret. I want to make sure we get that. And two more crowns. Cool man, cool. Phew. Okay. Ugh. And see, here we are. So, no, we're, we're not going to go that way. And I don't think that's a very ideal way to go anyway, because you have to come back up here to the gold door in order to proceed. So going that way, I just, I don't find... I don't know. I, I don't know what the author's intent was, but maybe I'm just wrong. But it doesn't really matter. I don't really care. Anyway, um, yeah, silver door. What the hell are we doing? So this can be a problem area. So you can see right across from the pillars here, th this door connects with that door. There's about, what, five SS in here or something? Sometimes all f I don't know, maybe three of them get trapped in there. But we don't want that to happen. We want to come in here and search and destroy as fast as we can, just like that. Because what tends to happen if you do get spooked, um, you'll flee back in here. But what happens is those guys get, they go up into this door. So while you're fighting whoever's in here, they can easily snipe you through the pillars. And we don't really want that situation to happen. So it's good, it's good to just go in and charge if you're not too confident with the MP4, you can always pull out the big painless gun and do damage that way. Alright, so we got some treasures to grab. And before we proceed, give me it. We gotta go up in here. Again, if you're going for, well, 
Yeah, if you're going for all the treasures and stuff, you really do need to stop and get that. Next stop is in the bathroom. We're gonna get rid of these guys and then come in here. We're gonna get rid of this guy. Now this room can be ass because there's so many guys in here. Doing what we don't know, and I don't really care, but they just need to die. They're guarding a whole bunch of like health and stuff and treasure, so you know, it's that type of thing. And then we got this asshole to deal with. Huh? Uh, what the hell is this thing anyway? It looks like a friggin' nightmare or some sort, some friggin' rabbit, I don't know. Pain in the ass. So you see, he really drops down our ammunition. Get out of here, Brown. So we got two shoes to fulls here. And we're gonna have to make our way back to the X thing. Yeah. Oh, for Christ's sake. Unbelievable. Such a pain in the ass that thing is. Uh, I gotta think how to get back there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually I don't drop to zero. I mean, usually I have like maybe 11 or 14 left, but that is not the case. And the thing is, too, you gotta be, like, kind of fully stocked to face that friggin' guy because, you know, <laughs> you need the ammunition to do so. Alright, let's run down here so I can get stock up as much as I can. No, nope, wrong way. Not the way to go. Wait a minute. That's the other way. It's across the hall. It's always nice to grab ammunition that you may have missed. It's a damn shame that I can't get that. Yeah, that sucks. <sighs> Whatever, man. Whatever. Um. No, not that way. This way. I don't think there's anything in here. Nope. few more guys to grab. Ugh. God. I mean, it's better than like having seven ammo or whatever. I mean, we'll, we will fill up. Um, 763, 750 is our score. We'll fill up in floor eight. So anyway, guys, floor seven, all done. Okay guys, floor 8, let's get going. Not a very big map anyway, as I said in the previous floor we would uh, we would definitely fill up, fill up on ammo and we are going to do that. This map is not as extreme as the last map and I'm okay with that. Anyway, you gotta guy right here. I'm gonna go to the left and get rid of these guys. There's only three secrets in this floor. Okay, let's grab the little ribbon thing and we're gonna hit that wall. Okay, we got treasure, we got treasure, treasure, treasure. Pick up all the treasure. Ha! <laughs> I love doing that. I don't know why. Moving forward. Let's take out the big gun. Kind of an ammo waster, but meh. It's not like we're in uh, dire shape here, so. Those are the uh, silver doors, those are our exit doors. But first, we gotta go down here because we need to get the keys and all that good stuff. Gold door here. I gotta remember as soon as I come out of the store, I gotta make a left. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm gonna come around here, get these guys, get out of here. Okay, and get rid of you. We're gonna snake around here. 
grabbing it him. And we're gonna hit this push wall here. And we got bracelet things, bangles, whatever you want to call them. Okay, and onward and upward. You know what? Shut that door. Wait a minute. No. <clears throat> I'm thinking of something else. I'm thinking of those doors over there. <laughs> We're gonna get rid of them. Hurry up, hurry up. Here's our gold key. Got some treasure. So as soon as we open this door and we start getting rid of the guys, these guys are gonna be alerted down here. So if you want to take out... Hurry up. You want to take out the big gun and deal the damage that way, do so. Get out of the way, dude. Why? It takes so many goddamn hits. I swear to Christ, I hate those enemies. Suck. Alright, let's get rid of you. Or pick up you, rather. I don't know. I'm just ready to get rid of everything. Okay, we got all that. Oh, let's grab that. Always do a double check. You know how DOS can be when you don't, when you step over an item. It doesn't pick up for you, so. Anyway, well, we got him. You know what another annoying enemy in this is? This little bastard right here. Wrong way. Okay. Make a left. <laughs> All right. So we have an officer here. Officer should be coming right here, and another dude right here. Excuse me. Okay, lots of guys. I hope I don't run out of friggin' ammo here. This is a perfect time to do one shots. Especially when you're in a um, little bit of a trouble position such as that, you know? Mm, no, I wanna go this way first. Shit, I don't like the way my ammo looks. Where do you? Yeah, oh crap, dude. I usually don't do it like this, but... Oh my god! Dude, he takes way too many goddamn hits. Just way too many. Annoying freaking enemy. Usually I am not this low on ammunition. It's very strange all of a sudden. So yeah, let's do some one shots. Get rid of you. Should be okay when we come out of here. Oh my god, these goddamn enemies. These officers are trash. I swear to god. <clears throat> anyway, get rid of you. All that good stuff. Yeah, usually I'd be walking out of here with like 80-some, 90-some ammunition, I don't know. Whatever. So we got the silver key, we can now get out of here. Should be like two more. Yeah, there you are. Where are you? And there you are. Okay, I got all the little bits, so okay. Back and get that health. 
No, oh, well, screw it. Let's go. <laughs> Whatever, man. That, that's not... It's definitely not our score. <sighs> I think I know what I may be missing. I don't know why I'm missing it. hell is the door? Oh, this isn't right. Where the hell is the door? There it is. It could be... It could be up here. Hold on a second. Ah, yeah. I missed this. I knew I was missing something. Yep, this little area up here. Nah, not a big deal. The good news is it's a small enough map that you could just easily fly up and get what you need. So, oh, a secret here. Eight seventy nine four hundred is what we need. Let's get out of here. Okay guys, final floor of episode one of WDS and let's get to it. I'm just gonna go in here and charge like mad. We're gonna open up the secret room. Get rid of you. Get out. Your presence offends me. Okay. Alright, and with the first secret out of six, we got some treasure and some health. Continuing. Got morons everywhere in this little room. Everywhere you look. Um, let me think. Which, well, are we gonna go this way? I, don't know. <laughs> I was thinking about the door behind me. We're gonna round up all these shoesifuls right here. Is that it? I thought there would be more. Huh. Oh, okay. Hey, there is one more. Turd. Okay. Maybe there'd be one more. Alright, so we need the silver door. Or silver key for that. Let's get rid of you. Get rid of you and you and you. Let's get that health. chance to destroy me, but it didn't happen. I always forget that guy. Okay, uh, this room could be another brown. Let's open that up. Yep, another brown. Very nice, very nice. Um, brown here. Around there. Um, I'm not. Yeah, right here, right here. I knew there was one more. Okay. All right, moving along. Holy shit! I almost forgot about you. Let me go back and grab. Right 
Did I get every thing? Okay, there we go. Crown and crown. Get rid of you and you. Secret, the last secret right there. And we got plenty of one-ups. I'm just gonna take them now. No, um, no, I'll save one. <laughs> this this boss does not have a lot of HP. He really, really doesn't. What can kill you is this room. If you get stuck on something, that's pretty much it for ya. His little stupid friends. These pillars, little walls right here. Hmm. Yeah, I want to get out of that guy's way. And I don't want to get stuck in here with him, which could freaking happen. I don't know where he is. There he is. I like at the end, he's like, ugh. <laughs> Alright guys, that was it. Episode 1 of One Diesel Dotten. Congratulations, the annoying captain often sixlet, whatever the fuck. Falls at your feet. Now the rake has lost one of the its key members. The allies can push the Germans back toward Berlin. Give me a minute. Alright. Uh, there's more to come. Uh, Still learning production, look for a Wolfenstein. Uh, are we gonna say umbrella there or something? Who knows? Um, episode 2 Eastern Mishap BJ find himself at the wrong place at the right time in Bulgaria. Yeah, that was in the secret exit. Um, in floor 10, we saw the Bulgarian flags. Alright, guys. Episode 1. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. And as always, the next time we will see you. Have a good one.